What's up guys, we are back once again and we are continuing the journey of Dragon the Nine Realms. Again, another amazing season by uh, DreamWorks, I think. Again, I've been saying this for a while, six, seven, six, seven episodes ain't long enough. I think overall this season was a real builder to the beginning of, I wouldn't say the end, but also a journey to where we're getting more questions answered in this season. And what really was questioned is, you know, finally, you know, finally seeing where this is going. Uh, and what I mean by that is, of course, um, Tom having his answers. You know, he, he wants to know where he comes from. He wants to know why he's so connected to these dragons. And we all know, but again, we got to have it go with the show. And I will say this, I found it really cool to finally see how, hey, um, we're finally getting all these characters. You know, Tom finally realizing after opening that um, container that had the dragon symbol on it that, hey, find this book, finds all the others, you know, Hiccup, Astrid, Fish Legs, uh, Rough Nut, and, you know, all of them that, hey, he finally figures out that, hey, I'm a descendant, just doesn't know which descendant, and he kind of puts it together slowly, and then we also see how, again, uh, that you really, the, the dragons kind of grow, I will say that, how, um, you know, Eugene kind of develops his own character in this season. He's not as annoying as he was last season, so that does kind of help, but at the same time, we have another annoying character, the one that is, um, you know, Saw, or, or, or whatever his name is, that got trapped in the Ice Realm, as they call it, to where he knows about Thunder, he knows about all of them, he tries to trick them, and then they soon realize, hey, he's an enemy, he's not an ally, he's not an innocent and all this, and then they have to not only protect, protect the Dragon Realm, but they also have to figure out, hey, we got to figure out a way to stop them. And that's what goes on this season. And I will say that one of the things I really enjoyed this season is uh, Thunder finally coming across his own kind. We finally got to see more Night Furies. We finally got to see a very much of a baby Night Fury who they named Shadow, who they kind of figure out is Thunder's younger brother. Then they see the two other siblings when they finally go to his realm where he's originally from and they got to meet uh, his parents pretty much and then they get to meet the Elder, which the Elder is really much bigger and after kind of doing some research, I have a theory either the Elder could be, again this is a long shot, he could be either the grandson son or the son of toothless not exactly sure how many bloodlines would have to go because again it was a long time ago so he could be uh maybe some type of major descendant of toothless not exactly sure how far but again that's just you know because again we don't know how long dragons live right we we don't know but i was very happy about that there was a massive battle between the ones that was taking over thunder's home and we got to see um thunder and tom really unite and tom reunite you know uniting with uh thunder's family because thunder Thunder's family was uh, very, I would say, almost against humans being in their realm, and they slowly was uh, getting used to it, and then some things was taken out of context, and then they were kind of banished, and then, of course, Shadow shows up again saying, hey, we need help, and then as soon as that happens, they soon realize, hey, uh, these kids are here to help. These humans are here to help, and when everything's said and done, you see where Thunder is having to make a choice. Does he stay with his own kind? Or does he go with Tom? And it's a very heartfelt moment. And again, if you're a very big How to Train Your Dragon fan or a Train Your Dragon fan in general, um, and, and you just you know that bond of like Kick Up and Toothless had, then you obviously know Thunder and Tom has that you know as well. So it's very interesting to see everything coming together and i love it and i'm very happy that you know the elder kind of was like hey i see your bond with him go you, you can go it's okay and it, it almost felt like it was going to be the end of the series but everything that i've read everything i've heard they want to have this series go on as long as possible honestly i think the series could go on for heck six eight seasons i mean that's just my honest opinion i think that the other one went for i think about six eight seasons i think uh again i could be wrong i'm still watching race to the edge um i'm still trying to catch up on that but 
overall, I did not know this season came out until I heard about it. I was like, oh man, this season did come out. So again, the season kind of comes and goes. We already, I did one not too long ago, I feel like. So again, it doesn't take too long for uh, Dragons and Iron Realms to be recorded slash filmed and for them to put it all together. Again, it's only six episodes or seven episodes sometimes, so it's kind of bittersweet. So you kind of binge on it in one day. Uh, each episode is like, I think, about 25, 30 minutes long. So again, it's not very long. It's not going to take you forever to kind of figure out, oh, hey, you know, you want to watch this or kind of calm down a few episodes and go back to it later on. So you do have that, uh, that choice. You know, you have that choice but overall there's really nothing bad to say about this season i will say the best episode in my opinion was when we got to see more night furious because that's the thing that i think any fan has been wanting to see for a long time is more night furious and now we finally did so now that we finally see more night furious i would say that was a little bit of uh you know, fan service, and I'm, I'm very appreciative of that, and I will say this, though, I like how DreamWorks is very, uh, they're keeping to the story of this, they're keeping very true to the story, they're not trying to go off the rails, they're trying to keep very optimistic to the, to the lore of, uh, how Train Your Dragon, they've been keeping very faithful to that and to the fans, and I cannot be happier with it, but, uh, guys, let me know what you think about it down in the comments, hope you guys are excited about it like I am, let me know your thoughts about it down in the comments down below, if you guys are still fans of this show let me know what you like let me know what you disliked about it either way let me know your thoughts about it down in the comments and i'll see you as always on the next one